has come to rejoice and renounce your paltry gods. Time travel movies get a bad reputation. The reason being, Back to the Future set an impossibly high standard, entertaining and easy to grasp. Since then, every movie using time travel as a story element has been subject to endless comparison. Back to the Future established a set of rules that every other movie must follow or else be met with confusion. Time travel, or any other science fiction for that matter, needs to serve the story. The problems in the Tomorrow War are similar to those in the later seasons of Game of Thrones. What could have been a great story about character interaction, politics, and world affairs is secondary to action. Humanity goes through asinine changes with the only explanation being a narrated news story cliche. Why should I care about people in the future more than the people in the present? That's what I want the story to explain to me. Instead, chaos. Inevitably, too much happens in too little time. The Tomorrow War is perfectly summarized in its opening sequence. Chris Pratt and a group of soldiers falling out of the sky onto the rooftop pool of a building in a burning city. It immediately throws all the movie has to offer right at your face in the first five seconds. This introduction hurts the rest of the movie because it takes time away from introducing us to the characters in favor of introducing us to the action. It lessens the payoff of every other time travel situation and desensitizes the action. Revealing the most pivotal part of the action in the first five minutes of the film is like telling the audience that the kid can see ghosts immediately in the sixth sense. Granted, the introduction would have been great if it wasn't all the movie had to offer. The scenes with his family create some brevity from the non-stop action, specifically the interactions with his father, but there just isn't enough balance between the action and the narrative elements of the story. Speaking of which, the alien sucks ass. There's no backstory to him. He's just a guy who shoots a spike at people. And it's like, why are they called the white spikes? Why not the black spikes? When I'm watching Godzilla, I want to see monsters the size of skyscrapers towering over humanity, wreaking havoc. Not the girl from Stranger Things crying and yelling. I don't remember any of the characters aside from the monsters, and frankly, I don't care to. The spectacle is the story. But when I watch The Tomorrow War, I want the opposite. Since the monsters are generic, the story needs to be the spectacle. I want to see humanity struggling with the idea of fighting a monster that doesn't exist in the present. The political fallout, the decision making, the struggles that come from fighting something based on belief. How do legislators across the globe justify fighting a war in the future? All it takes is a soccer match halftime show to convince every government to team up and send 90% of our population into the future to a war we haven't even seen. Unfortunately, what I would consider to be the most intriguing part of the film is turned into a news montage that lasts the span of a minute. The plot of the movie loses all its effect and the result is a generic action movie. The third act really ramps things up. At this point, I felt like I was watching a different movie. Characters teleport from Miami to Russia in the blink of an eye, and all seven people necessary to save the entire world are only a few lines of dialogue away. The problem is that it doesn't feel earned, because from one second to the next they are defeating an entire alien colony. You're telling me that this ragtag group of individuals find the underground alien spaceship in all of Russia and destroy it all by themselves. A character with no military background suddenly becomes a Rambo and the climax ends in a fist fight to save the world. Not nearly as cool as Chris Pratt's dance battle to save the galaxy. The minutia of watching aliens get shot by infinitely stocked magazine clips against an all-white background gets tiring. Relying on the initial stimulation of action makes it flaccid in the long run. The Tomorrow War tries to overcompensate with action at the expense of storytelling. Considering the bar set by Back to the Future, it's become too easy to find plot lines and loopholes. The Tomorrow War is no exception. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Then bring it down hard. Someday, put it together. What are you doing? Dance off, bro. <laughs>